Well, it's been a long time since I've been to Edinburgh and it's one of those cities that I absolutely love. It's a fantastic place. There's always stacks to do there. The city looks phenomenal. It's architecturally very beautiful as well. Although, the reality is, is that driving to Edinburgh is speed camera central. There are more speed cameras on the way to Edinburgh than just about anywhere else in Britain, if you ask me. In terms of camera choice, it's one of those days where I really, really would have loved to have just had a little compact camera, a little mirrorless camera with us. Um, however, I've got a Canon 5D Mark III with me, and I'm going to wander around the city with a 2470 and uh, do a little bit of street photography. Hopefully, we can find some interesting characters, scenes, signs. It's always fun to get out there and do something which tells a story of of a place, tells a story of a city, and gives you a little bit of a narrative. But at the same time, I want each photo to tell a story. And I want something within the photo that has has a connection, something that either jars you visually, that stands out and makes you think, or something that provokes a reaction, or even if it's just a character, or somebody that just displays a, a, a little bit of a feel for, for the person or for the location. So, Christmas time, um, it's gonna be very, very busy, for sure. So there'll be lots of people about, and I'm expected to see sort of lots of very crowded scenes. So the interesting challenge is going to be trying to find little pockets of images within those crowded, chaotic scenes of mayhem, um, otherwise known as Christmas shopping. Usual, Nicholas decided that she wants a long, thick sausage. She didn't hear that. gallery and there's some fantastic artwork on display. It's always great to come to these sort of locations to get some ideas for compositions, use of colour and there's some fantastic work here just across the board so I'm going to have a look around and uh, we'll see you guys again shortly. Some great work by Degas, César, Gauguin, and uh, Nicola comments. Some nice pictures there that I wouldn't mind having in the house. Yeah, me neither. Probably pop a couple of them up at Sotheby's and then have a bigger house. to try and see the shot coming, try and uh, spot a character and be in position before the actual event happens. So you don't want to be wasting time, you need to have your camera set up and ready to go. The difficulty is when it's like this is that it's so, so busy that 
actually making that happen is, uh, is, is ten times harder than it normally is. But the challenge is a fun bit, I suppose. We've got a couple of good images so far. We just need to keep working and see if we can come away with some more. taken us about 10 minutes to get around yeah, 20 right. yards, that's how busy it is, it's absolutely packed out here. Well, we've just photographed a few of the squirrels, and as one young man said, he's never seen a real squirrel before. Not to explain to him, there's a lot of counterfeit squirrels flooding the market from China. <laughs> Cardio runes again, Nick. <laughs> this hill looks like it's testing Nick's cardio. Get your thighs going. Shooting in aperture priority at anything from f2.8 to f5.6. My boost of the ISO now as the light levels have dropped. So we're up at ISO 3200. And we're hopefully still getting some great images. Hear the bagpipes. It's a very Scottish Christmas. We are back in the pub. We're going to run across to McDonald's and get a guy a coffee with the homeless guys outside. Uh, white coffee please. I photographed one of the guys a few moments ago who's homeless and out on the street. And uh, just been to KFC to grab the, a coffee. Oh, bro, yeah, Enjoy. Take care. Beneath a cloudy sky What's the plan now? Sorry? Oh no, it's a, it's a pleasure my friend. Glad you enjoyed it. You too. <laughs> We've got the last rays of light here on Princess Street. So I'm going to get the tripod out and just shoot a shot running all the way down with the neons of the Christmas fair. Should be a nice shot. Still working this location around the wheel and I've been trying to um, just catch a couple of people as they're coming across. We've shot some longer shutter speeds, a second, couple of seconds, 
blurring some of the trams and the buses that are coming past. But I've been trying to get a couple of people in some of these images as well, with some of the taxi lights, and it's just um, it's just a case of timing. Your pants. Right. This door open, yeah? yeah. Am I through? Thank you. Oh. So she could have had an extra hot burrito and you've got her a banana. That feels like a, a downgrade. No. Chili beef with jalapenos and an extra hot sauce. Possibly a little bit OTT. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was Taco Mazana. That was pretty awesome. So I think we're gonna go back up Princess Street now. Just trying to get a shot of the uh, Rocco Forte Hotel here on Princess Street. Just trying to get a few of these uh, buses coming in slow motion. So we are uh, leaving the shutter open 15 seconds, getting the light trails. I'm not getting quite what we want. leaving a little bit earlier than I anticipated so we're heading off back to the car park now and it's been a semi successful day it's been a challenge with the amount of people that are here don't feel like I've spotted as many opportunities as I would like to have done um, but ultimately speaking hopefully we've still got a few good shots get back home take a look at them do a little bit of post-processing and see where we are pretty awesome day we've uh, just made it back from Edinburgh and I'm pretty excited to get in and get these images backed up so I can take a look through them uh, some interesting characters about I I didn't get a lot of the shots that I really would have liked to have got and obviously you cannot create scenarios with street photography you have to respond to what's there and predict kind of what's gonna happen and um, Today I probably would have actually been better with a slightly longer lens on at times because it was so packed that just trying to pick characters out and isolate them there's no way to use your feet to get close to them in any timely fashion so that's something that I wish I'd done uh, but I'm still excited to have a nose through what we've got and uh, hopefully start showing you some of those images within this video I'll see you guys shortly I'm gonna go and have a beer